Crop Life International and the Insecticide Resistance Action Committee explain how to combat insecticide resistance. This farmer is called James. He loves his job and is very proud of his produce. To avoid insect damage to his crops, James has always used the same insecticide and never had a problem. This year, James is worried because his crops are infested and spraying his fields does not kill many of the insects. If this continues, the whole harvest could be destroyed. James can't understand why the insecticide that worked so well before is not working so well now. An insecticide loses its effect because the insects have developed resistance to it. In any population of insects, there is genetic variability. The variability may give some insects a natural protection from this insecticide. If the same insecticide is always used, only insects that have this advantage survive. These resistant insects reproduce and pass on their advantage. Over time, this selection process fills the fields with resistant insects that are not affected by the insecticide. Luckily, there are other insecticides that have different modes of action. This means they attack the insects in different ways. Great, but how can we stop the process repeating and new types of resistance developing? Researchers carried out studies that show that by spraying insecticides with different modes of action in rotation throughout the crop growing season, the insects are controlled and the chance of resistance developing is greatly reduced. James can find information about what mode of action an insecticide uses printed on many bottles, online or by asking the retailer. All insecticides with the same number share the same or a similar mode of action, so James makes sure to pick ones with different numbers. The rotation of chemical insecticides is an important element of an integrated approach to combating resistance, along with non-chemical practices like pest monitoring, crop rotation, soil tillage, and the encouragement of predators. James is delighted. By rotating insecticides with different modes of action and by implementing integrated pest management practices, he has solved his insect problem in a sustainable way. This saves him money by increasing his yield and improving the quality of his produce. James also finds he does not need to apply insecticide as regularly and has more free time with his family. Farmers like James are not alone in the fight against insecticide resistance. In urban environments, mosquitoes can also develop resistance. This increases the spread of malaria and has a huge impact on public health. IRAC works everywhere to combat the development of resistance. If you would like to learn more about insecticide resistance and the work of IRAC, visit the IRAC website.